Why do we photograph? What is the point of being in the city? Why are we out here taking photographs every day? Is it the city that moves us? Is it the human experience, the emotion that drives us to release the shutter on our awesome retro looking camera? The answer is simple. The camera defines the photographer. We don't need to see the beauty around us if the camera is the beauty around us. These perfectly dampened dials, a simple switch, another switch. Oh wait, there's more. What is this for? Oh yeah, exposure compensation. Do we need a dial for everything? It doesn't matter what you think. What matters is what other people think of you. And a camera that everyone thinks is cool will make you look cool. So go out there and hold your camera proudly. And remember, this is not a tool, but the beauty of the Nikon DF. DF! 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 Or something like that. <laughs> Hi everyone, Samuel here. Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to play with the Nikon DF. And this is not mine. I borrowed this from uh, MPB. Thank you MPB for sponsoring this video. And this is a camera that uh, everyone asks me why I didn't get this camera instead of the Nikon D850 that I've been using since uh, November 2021. Super happy with it. I use it for street photography with this lens. And I think people ask me about this camera because if I use it for street, then isn't this a better camera for street photography? I think mostly because of the dials and it does look you know, like a film camera, but it is actually a digital camera. It came out in uh, 2013, so that makes it a 10 year old camera. But it always was praised for its sensor, which is uh, the same sensor that the Nikon D4 has or had, which was uh, used by professionals and it probably is still being used by professionals today. And it is 16 megapixels. So it might feel a little outdated, but I think 16 is still plenty for street or documentary. And I've been aware of the DF for a while, but I never really considered it because I never shot Nikon before. Uh, but now that I use Nikon, uh, I can use my lenses on it. And I want to answer five uh, questions in this video. First being, is this just a gimmick or is this actually a tool that is useful for photography? The second question I want to answer is, how does it work as a street photography camera? Third question is, how does it work uh, for daily life photography, photographing your family, for example? And number four, does this camera make you a hipster or look like a hipster? It's not the right crowd. Find me some hipsters. And the fifth question is, how does it hold up today in 2023 compared to modern cameras like my D850? Because the sensor is now 10 years old. But does it look like a 10 year old sensor? So we have a lot to cover in this video. But before we do that, I want to give you my first impression, my very first impression, when I got this camera in the mail. So many dials. It looks much better in person, I have to say, than uh, looking at images online. I like the texture. Oh, this is a very good fit. Yeah, I think this will fool some people in thinking this is a film camera. Okay, this is nice. This viewfinder is, uh, is good, it's not bad. It's actually very close to this viewfinder here, the, the F100. I really like the F100's viewfinder because it's so clear. I kind of like this uh, battery door. It feels, it feels old school. <laughs> 60s of a shutter speed, 400 ISO F2 and manual focusing. All right, here we go. Wow, nice shutter sound. Oh, I'm so good. I will show the image uh, on the screen, but I guess I nailed it. But yeah, it looks uh, very, very nice, very sexy, uh, feels great. And image quality, I don't know yet, but we will, we will find out. 
You know what we're also going to find out? That MPB is the place to buy and sell your camera gear online. Yes, that is indeed correct. <laughs> I'm very proud and happy to be partnering up with MPB. I've been using them for a very long time to switch out my gear, try new stuff. I really like the user experience on their online store. It's so easy to find new camera gear. They have detailed photographs of every gear listed and you get six months warranty with a great return policy. So if you change your mind within 14 days, I think you can ship your gear back. They also make it very easy for you to change your gear if you want to try something new. You can sell your gear directly to MPB using a form and get a quote instantly and you can use that to get a payment or buy new equipment in exchange. And with everything getting more expensive these days, buying used gear just makes more sense. It's financially more sustainable. So if you're looking to switch up your gear, I highly recommend checking out MPB. Link will be in the description. And uh, thank you MPB for sponsoring this video. Let's test how hipster I look. <laughs> it's not the right crowd. I need to find, find me some hipsters. Ich rauche leider auch nicht. At least someone looked at me for a short second. <laughs> it was so awkward. Uh, that was disappointing. Um, so, to conclude, this camera doesn't make you look cool. At least not here in Hamburg. So don't buy this if you want to stand out. Uh, maybe you have to go to a more hipster area in your town. I like how it looks, but no one cares. That's the point. All right, you just saw my first impression and a week has passed. I'm on the highway on the way to my uh, mother's place. We're going to stay there for one night. And I didn't really get to shoot much last week. But tomorrow I will be documenting a festival in my neighborhood and uh, it's going to be wild. So there will be opportunities uh, coming. But I thought tonight I'm going to vlog a little bit, uh, show you how the DF works as a daily life camera, taking pictures of your family. And then I ask you on Instagram uh, what you want to know about the DF and I, I got some questions. So let's answer two of them here. So one question was, does it inspire you to shoot? And the answer is uh, yes, definitely. It inspires me to pick it up. I want to use it because of all these dials and buttons um, and switches. You want to you wanna touch it. <laughs> the second question was about the, the focusing system. And I, I don't want to use autofocus lenses on it because I think it's more fun using manual lenses on the DF to get the full analog experience. Wow, well, look at this view, guys. This is, this is Hamburg, the industrial area where all the containers from the ships uh, arrive. Do you see these ships on the left? It's probably too small. 
but yeah, this is really cool. But I, I, I tried a few autofocus lenses, my 28 1.4. I have a 60 macro as well. And it's not fun. The autofocus is very slow and the hit rate is not great, especially when it gets dark. Sometimes it wouldn't even focus or it would take like five or six attempts. Oh, in terms of focusing, especially manual focusing, the DF has much more uh, a higher tolerance. The focus indicator is uh, really not that sensitive. And that is really annoying because you can't really rely on it for manual focusing. So many of my images were uh, not focused correctly because I trusted the focus indicator, but it was not accurate. On my D850, I know when the circle shows up, the image will be in focus. On the DF, you don't really know. And one trick or technique I use is I focus to a close distance first and then focus slowly to the distance until I hit my subject. And then it does work most of the times. But there's another uh, way you can buy these, um, these split screens that you put uh, under the prism. I found an article online that shows how it works and then you would have these uh, split images to focus. So this is something you should uh, try out. I, I can't try it out because it's not my DF. I can't uh, modify it. Uh, anyways, I'm arriving soon. Uh, see you later. Okay, good morning. It is Saturday morning. Uh, I just shot a few pictures of my son and my family uh, yesterday evening as well. And the light was so nice because we are on the fifth floor here. When the sun rises, it hits us directly in the face in the morning. And yeah, I think the colors were very nice. I haven't seen the edits yet. You probably saw it already. What do you think? I think these images have a nice vibe to it, but maybe it's because of the light. So I think I have to change my mind about the DF a little bit. I think I said earlier in my car that I don't like how it's hard to focus but because I know the tolerance level of the focus indicator I get more shots in focus because I know how to use it like focusing close first and then onto my subject that seems to work I still got some misfocused shots today but uh, my hit rate is a little bit better now than last week and Compared to street photography or carrying this camera around your neck all day, having it in the house sitting somewhere and then grabbing it quickly um, feels better than walking around with it the whole day because I can leave it at the right settings and then when I grab it, I know immediately, okay, now the light is brighter, let's change it to you know, two stops or my son is suddenly moving really fast, okay, let's go to 250 instead of 125th of a second you know, or set the ISO to man, uh, manual. So for that, it's kind of fun. So I changed my mind. The DF is, get, it gets a thumbs up for family, family camera. If you're okay with uh, manual focusing. Good morning, it's Sunday. Uh, I'm here in the countryside in close to my neighborhood and we're going to photograph that festival I mentioned earlier. I have my DF here with the 40 F2, like always. I also brought my D850, I'm using it right now. We have a long walk ahead of us, let's go. I'm starting to feel like I'm the only one walking to the event. 
because in the newspaper they said please come by foot or take your bike so I hope I'm the smart one but look how far we have to walk Morgen, Fahrrad ist kaputt <laughs> ja alles gut <laughs> viel Spaß but let me give you a quick a brief about this event so this event is called Faslam and don't worry even Germans never heard about it because it only happens here in, in Lower Saxony only here and uh, only selected villages and apparently this is a tradition going back 100 or 150 years ago and it was in winter when the farmers or the servants of the farmers uh, got really bored there was nothing to do no television back then so they started to uh, you know dress up or drink and party basically but nowadays it's more like a carnival uh, they do parades lots of costumes so i think i'm 50% uh, uh, there so still a long time to go but yeah let's take some pictures enjoy the DF uh, and my D850 with the 28 I don't have time to switch lenses but uh, yeah check the images see how you like them um, but this is fun so time to go home here we are again five kilometers on foot because we or I was to stupid to figure out that I can park here but uh, it was fun my first fast lamp experience uh, totally different from carnival in the city I think when something like that happens in the city it's not as interesting as uh, if it is uh, the countryside you know this very boring looking neighborhood uh, and then suddenly you have these colorful creatures Think that makes for more interesting images and it is so cold today and it started raining so i really i really hope you guys appreciate that i'm outside all the time in my videos you know i could sit at home where it's warm and comfortable just talk to you about the camera but no samuel goes out for you samuel goes the extra mile so i hope you guys appreciate that hit that like button that's the least you can do <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday, it is 9am, I have my coffee. I recommend that you grab something to drink as well, because I know this video has been long already. But uh, let's talk about the DF. And I want to give you my final verdict, share my experience, how I like it, what I don't like. But first I want to quickly answer these five questions that I asked in the beginning. First was, is this a gimmick or is this actually a tool uh, that is useful for photography? And my quick answer is... Oh, it's not, it's not going to be a quick answer, but I would say it's like a 60% uh, gimmick, 40% uh, tool. Now, I know there are some photographers, wedding photographers, event photographers who use this camera 
But I think most people who buy the DF are just passionate about photography. They're passionate about the tactile experience of shooting a film camera, for example. So for those people, this is, this is a great camera. Personally, I believe there's a reason why cameras improved in ergonomics and operation. Some of you might disagree. Maybe you think this is the only way to expose your image. I prefer the boring uh, front and back uh, dials here. And I don't mind pressing this ISO button to change ISO because I rarely change ISO. I use auto ISO most of the time. And I have a manual focusing lens with an aperture ring. And that already gives me so much more in terms of shooting experience. And I prefer modern cameras uh, with analog lenses. This is what I enjoy the most. I don't need everything to be analog. You know, I don't need this front aperture uh, dial here. I don't know if, even, if I even showed it in this video. Um, it looks kind of nice, but it's hard to turn and you have to use two fingers. If you use one finger, it is very hard to turn in, in one direction. Just for this fact alone, I wouldn't even bother using autofocus lenses, not even talking about autofocus performance, because it, it would be such a pain to change the aperture. And this mode switch here is also kind of unnecessary because they could have just done it like Fujifilm does it, uh, where you can set all the dials to uh, A for auto. That makes more sense, right? If you put your lens to, to auto, then you're shooting shutter priority. If you set your shutter speed to A, then you're shooting aperture priority, right? But if you're used to setting up your camera fully manual, then uh, you will enjoy this camera because everything is on your fingertips. How does the DF feel and work for street photography? Uh, I would say it does work very well. Uh, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun in the city and I was really involved in the, in the shooting process. Um, the camera was not a distraction to me because I don't need to look down on my camera uh, to change my settings. I just know if I go by the click sounds, you know, one click is one stop. And then when you use zone focusing with a manual lens that has a distance scale, like my Void Lander 40mm, uh, then it makes a lot of sense. You have a nice big optical viewfinder. You just need to set your distance, I look through the camera and take a shot. It's very simple and it's very fun. And someone I think on Instagram asked me uh, how I feel about it compared to a Leica M. And I would say this is the closest you can uh, buy today on MPB <laughs> to get an analog experience on the street uh, with zone focusing. Another strong point would be the size and weight. Uh, it's fairly small and compact compared to other DSLRs. Like the D850 is uh, very big, but it has the better grip. And to be honest, holding my DF, uh, D850 feels so much better than holding the DF one-handed that I don't even mind and feel the extra weight on my D850. But if you use a strap, then uh, you will notice a difference. And if you use two hands, you know, it's fine. But ergonomics are not so great, to be honest. I would use a half case, case with the DF. Third question was, how does it perform as an everyday camera um, photographing your family, for example? As I already said in this video, thumbs up. Uh, it's a great camera for taking family pictures um, because it is uh, non-threatening. It looks cool. I don't think family members will ever mind having this camera around because it, it looks cool when it sits on the shelf or on the table. Image quality is great, of course, even in low light. So if you are photographing a family gathering, Christ like Christmas, for example, Christmas, Christmas Eve, it will work very well in that situation. But you, ne you need to use manual focusing because autofocus is um, almost useless in, in low light, in my opinion. And as a daily life camera, if the DF just sits around somewhere waiting to be grabbed, uh, I don't mind um, the lack of good ergonomics because I would only use it occasionally, you know. When I go out have, and have a shoot, I want to hold something more comfortable. But uh, as a family camera, it does work very well. So, thumbs up. So, does the DF make you look like a hipster? Well, I tested it and the results were not shocking, but um, disappointing, I would say. I was hoping for more reactions. No one commented on my camera. I got a few looks, but that was it. So, regular people, non-photographers, they don't really care about the camera, the DF. But I think if I would go to an area with a lot of young people, students maybe, I would probably get more comments. But um, unfortunately, I have to tell you, uh, if you want to buy this camera to, to get compliments on the street, you're probably only going to get it from other photographers. 
So how does the DF hold up today compared to modern cameras, especially my D850, uh, which is not super modern, it came out 2017, I think. In short, I would say it does hold up very well, surprisingly well, um, because I was quite shocked how normal the file files looked like. I was expecting more noise because it's an older sensor, but the files are very clean, uh, colors are, are good. Uh, I, pre I still prefer the D850 colors, with the DF you have to work on the skin tones maybe a little bit more, but uh, overall the colors are very pleasing, natural looking, nothing oversaturated. I like how street photos look on the DF. And one thing that I tested which is really cool and I want to show you some examples here is, uh, so the 16 megapixels are totally fine for street photography, for every photography. If you don't print larger than A4, A3 maybe, uh, it should be totally fine. But if you want to print larger or you want to see more details, um, Photoshop or Adobe has this uh, super resolution feature, right? Where you can upscale a raw image using AI technology or something like that. Uh, the images uh, get a little sharper, you will see a little bit more details. And the difference is quite shocking. I will show you two images here. One is just a DF straight out of camera, raw. And then the other is uh, using super resolution. If you are pixel people, then you will like that you can upscale these DF files quite nicely. But I have to mention that I'm quite spoiled with my uh, 45 megapixels on the D850. And the reason I'm still leaning towards this camera is not because of the resolution mainly, but having more resolution cannot hurt, right? And for street, 45 megapixels sounds like a lot, but I like to take a lot of uh, street uh, photographs of uh, scenes and not necessarily just one subject. So the more details I can see in my images, uh, the bigger I can print the files and uh, the more, the greater the impact as a viewer. In my opinion, um, I like images where you can look at the image and see lots of little details. Um, with the DF you can still do that, but you would need to use super resolution to bring out some of the finer textures or to see faces more clearly when, you, when they're in the distance. I have to say a few issues uh, with recovering shadows because uh, the sensor is not backside illuminated, you know. You can get some uh, color casts in the shadow and the D850 is a little cleaner, much cleaner, <laughs> but that's just because it's backside illuminated. But I would still say the sensor earns its reputation, uh, great flexibility, colors look very decent. Yeah. It's a great sensor. Pros and cons, real quick. The, the cons first. Too many dials, uh, Fujifilm does it a little bit better. Uh, brightness of the LCD changes uh, contrast of the image. That is something that is uh, a little strange. You always have to put the display brightness to medium. Once you go higher, you the images become uh, very contrasty. That's a little bit annoying because outside it will, it will be harder sometimes to check your images. Oh, the drive mode. Yeah, whenever I turn on the camera, this on and off switch, I don't really like it. And when I turn it, the camera on, I often hit uh, the drive uh, switch and then it goes to continuous low. That, but that could be just my fingers being too big or my nails being too sharp or whatever. Manual focusing is not great. It's not fantastic. Uh, the D850 is much more accurate. So I would uh, look into a split screen modification that might be worth it uh, for street photography and zone focusing it doesn't matter too much you can work around it you can get used to it and it's it's not impossible to get sharp images but it's a little harder and then lastly it's it's still very pricey for a 10 year old camera some would argue the price is justified because it's a new unique camera and i would say yeah it might be because there's no other camera offering this uh, digital fusion. Did I mention I shoot Leica? And to me this really feels like a film camera and for that it, it offers you an experience that only film cameras can give you. I'm sure Nikon will do another DF version uh, with the Z mount, a mirrorless version, but to be honest no, they will never make a camera that feels as analog as this one because of the finder. A mirrorless finder, you know, EVF, it's just it just it would destroy the whole analog experience for me so this camera is probably the last one that offers this digital fusion 
yeah, the prices are high because people are after them. Okay, let's talk about pros. Great sensor. As I said, resolution, you can upscale it beautifully. It's a fun camera, a lot of fun. Uh, if you like these analog controls, uh, then it is a lot of fun. Oh, a few of these uh, pros I already mentioned in my corn list. So yeah, it's good for people who shoot film and want a digital uh, camera with the same experience. It feels very analog and it's cool that Nikon did that, blah, 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 blah. I already said that. Great viewfinder. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I know it was long, but this is just how I roll. I like to do these reviews as, um, as vast and full of experience as possible. I know I could have probably made three different uh, videos out of this, but uh, yeah, it's more fun that way, I think. And there are time stamps for people who, are, who have no patience. So what do you think about the DF? Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions, if I missed something. Uh, I might be able to answer them. Check out MPB if the DF is still available or not. Uh, and maybe you find some other gems in there. Now, will I buy the DF for myself? I have to say it's not really for me. I'm looking for a second body for professional work. Uh, it's probably going to be a second D850 or maybe a D780 or maybe D810. I, I just prefer this uh, regular boring body button layout better but it was fun it was a fun experience so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video let's let's hear the shutter and do it take kayo style click click see you next time